Welcome to the Indices, and this just starting a bit of a different way today. This is the uh, the Dow Transports, and um, we were looking at this last week, and we we're looking at this in terms of a five way structure. Because I was looking at this because the Dow and the S and P five hundred move up through here on the daily chart wasn't very clear, but here we can see that we've got wave one to here, wave two to here. And then we've got wave three from this low here all the way to this high here with five waves in there in terms of one, two, three, four, and five for the third wave. And then we're looking at the fourth wave here uh, as in three waves. And then it made a new high here to make the fifth wave. Now the Dow Jones and the S&P 500, they've never made this new high here. In fact, they're struggling here. They, they may make the new high here um, and we've got to count for that and we'll, we'll, we'll look into that. But I just need to point out that this this particular this move here this five wave structure here is finished and um, well you know we can get a, a larger correction from here if this market you know moves from this little point here to this high here if it moves down past you know the 61.8 retracement level but let's just say the 7500 here if it breaches the 7500 or finds that as a resistance there then we'd like have to consider like a you know a bit of a top uh, being in play here and this particular five wave structure here is part of of course a, a, a larger structure and that larger structure would be um, uh, this one here in terms of uh, this one is up for one back for two um, up for three here cross for four and up for five here so this is like let me just bring this into play here just to sort of show you the size of this here. Well, what I'll do is I'll just go back to the back to the beginning then. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so we'll start from from this point here. We've got five waves up here. So this that's that's the first wave and wave two coming back. So this is all part of like a large third wave up through here. Okay. Now if I just expand this open a little bit here, so we know that we're in this big third wave, for instance, <clears throat> and uh, in this big third wave, we've got basically in here somewhere we've got wave one and wave two in here. Now wave two might be to this point here, um, but all of this being, this is all being wave three here. So we were just counting those little five waves in here, right? So this this would be from this point here, this would be uh, wave one to here, wave two to here. And then you can see you've got uh, the structure in here. So this is the whole third wave, the fourth wave here and the fifth wave. So we'd be looking at um, a wave four coming back into this area through here. So all of this, this is the strong third uh, within here. Um, so this, well, this is a strong third from this point here, really. All of this is the third wave. So the fourth wave can pull back, you know, 38.2%. So it can fold back into this area through here. So um, coming back into this little top area here, this 7,500 here becomes, um, quite important here. It may just have a situation where it's like this here, um, you know, but it's the 7500 is something that we can sort of look to as a concrete um, uh, support system here. So this five wave structure that we've just went through here, I know this is a little bit hard to read, but this little five structure we went through here, it's quite easy to count and to read here because when we go and have a look at the S&P 5, 100 or the Dow Jones to start on the on the Dow Jones here we can see that it's very difficult to count those five waves up through here yeah on the daily and the S&P is exactly the same as well and both of them haven't made new highs above this one here we know that this move down here is in three waves so we know it's corrective but um, it could end up just it could end up just being the th the three the three waves here and then we're looking for um, a structure up here. Now the structure up here, we've got uh, two possibilities. We've currently got this at the top here as a third wave here and a fourth wave pulling back, which would be this one here pulling back here. Um, and then the fifth wave up there. So that's one structure. The other structure is that we've got this scenario happening here where this is the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave down through to here. And this is the same for the S&P 500. If I bring on the S&P 500 here, let's 
bear with me here, you can see that it's exactly the same sort of pattern as well. Um, so we can consider this little structure up here as being impulsive, um, but this would be the top of the third wave here, the fourth wave here, and the fifth wave to move up through to here, and that's what we were looking for um, initially. Uh, you know, but now we've got to be a little bit careful now that our transports have made a top and is, is, uh, is, is moving down. So um, we have to be uh, mindful of the, the same situation here as well in terms of this um, this particular sort of pattern uh, happening here. Um, currently, the move down through here is fine. It's 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 in three waves here. We've got a small three waves within this structure here, but we don't particularly want it going any further down um, uh, uh, as such there. So um, just keep that in, in oh no, I'll come back to the Australian in a minute. So just looking at the, um, uh, the S&P 500 here for a moment, this is sort of where we're up to here. It's possible that we've got the A, the B and the C here, and then we're looking for a move to the upside here. And, you know, the market's sort of okay as long as it doesn't really drop out of group two here, the 65, 72 and the 80 here. Um, and the, um, the there's this current pattern down here is a little bit hard to read on the, um, on, on the, um, on this particular structure here. And this is also interesting as well because this made a new high here where the where the where the cash market didn't. Um, and this little structure down here is a little bit hard to read as well. But if I bring up the cash market, I'll just bring up a chart on the on the cash market here. This is just an intraday chart here. This is what's happened over the last few sessions. We can see a really nice ABC structure here. So this would be the A wave down to here, the B wave back up. And then this, this is what's really important here, this C wave here. So one, two, three, four, and five here. So if this low gets taken out of the 1859 here, this low here, then you know that we're gonna end up with five waves down in terms of one, two, three, four, and five down. And then that would give us a more of a bearish pattern to the downside. So in looking at this here, this would be currently it's, um, it's in three waves down, but it could turn into five waves down. If it turns into five waves down, then we'll get a bounce off the 1850, and then we'll see another five down through to here. Um, but as it stands at the moment, we'll look for it to be here. One of the reasons I'm talking about this is because of the Australian market, and it's at 55 um, hundred here and it's also got the same pattern as well it's also coming down from the high here it's got the a wave the b wave and it's got a nice five wave structure here for wave c but if um if this low gets taken out here then we start getting a then we start getting a five wave structure down through here in terms of the one the two the three the four the five which will give us a counter trend here and then further downside here because if we get five here we'll get another five over here um, one of the reasons to back this up and this is one of the reasons i'm going about this the, the long way is um let me just move into um the australian market here and um we'll just start with with A and Z, I guess, because it's been leading to the upside. That's the main reason, you know, CBA has it on the daily chart, hasn't made a new high above here. Now, what I wanted to point out here is that, yes, we've always known that this move down through here, um, and this is the same for, you know, CBA and Westpac and many other banks, uh, many other um patterns like this. So we've always known this is corrective and we'll take a new high out here. So we know that we had a bullish picture, um, you know, in, in the trend up through here. And we've got that as well. And we know that this move up through here is in five waves because, well, it is. And we've got a nice strong third wave in the middle here. Um, so if this is little five waves up here for, uh, for, for wave one here, then we'll be looking at wave three over here, wouldn't we? And this is wave three here at the moment. So with wave three here, we can see that we've basically got wave one and two into here. This is the strong third wave in the middle here. And this is the fourth wave. And this is the fifth wave here. Okay. So we need to be careful that we're like at the top of 
the of a third wave here if i can just bring this up and get it into shape a little bit here so you know we are looking for you know we are looking for this five wave structure to the upside here but my point is is that we could be very close to this wave um you know the top of wave three here as such and because the american markets have uh pulled back a little bit i think that we could be looking at this as well so um you know stocks actually create the indices so we need to be looking at these uh here and of course that five way structure up through here is the same for say westpac as well uh well no that's not quite true actually um we can see we've got five waves here in this stock here um, and this one here hasn't really is still actually moving up here. Let me just have a look at um, CBA, my, one of my favourites. Yeah, the structure here, um, you know, we've got this wave one here, then we've got the ABC here for, for two, and then you can see the next five waves up from here, can't you? So we've got one, two, three, four and five or even four and five to here not that it matters but there is five waves in this structure here so we could very well see um, either a move back from here or it could jump up here a little bit and move back but because there's pressure on the um on the u.s markets there so it's really important what 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 happens on um if i can just come back to um, this little pattern here on the S&P 500 here, it's really important if this um, 1859 here low gets taken out or not, because um, if that gets taken out, then that creates a five wave structure to the downside. And then we'll see, we're likely to see all of these just correct from from their current highs here and you know that can take a good you know that could take all week to do as such and you know the other point for the australian market is that 5505 being the second strongest number in the market um you know it's it's got a fair bit of pull and it's you know it's pulled the market back into here and it probably hasn't finished with it yet as well and we know that on the daily it's 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 overbought um, uh, uh, up here and it's still overbought here as well so it's highly likely that we'll get more um, corrective price action uh, through through this area here that's all I really wanted to um, point out I know it was a sort of a long way around um, <clears throat> you know but I can see that in other stocks as well if I look at um, uh, I think Woolworths with one from memory probably still a little bit more upside here but um, <clears throat> you know we'd been trading this to the upside here we can see that i always knew that this was all a big wave four correction across here i just had to get the right timing for it but we've got one two three a b c for the fourth and we've got the fifth up here this is not quite finished yet because these are series of ones and twos and it's a strong third wave here so we should push a little bit higher in 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 the retail section here but that that will end uh soon there as 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 well uh and have a have a decent sort of correction so um yeah look there's other stocks in other sectors the, the same as this as well so if we're not at the top right here now then we we certainly uh could be very shortly all righty um well that's that's that really um thanks for listening